Today I'm going to teach you how to convert plant waste and animal waste into a fine grain purpose charcoal that helps soil retain nutrients and water. Most people don't really know about this. There's many different ways to make it. Basically it's a um, um, it's been people's been doing it for over 2,000 years and um, basically you take um, waste as in plants or manure wood all that stuff and you burn it real fast now uh, biocharring ashes but rather um, stuff that's burnt so fast that it stays whole but you can when you touch it and squeeze it it'll turn to dust I'll show you on a minute so basically what I got here is some wood some stuff from the garden and some manure in here and um, I'm just burning the heck out of it and then I'll show you what we're going to collect here as soon as this gets done of uh, what actually biochar is and uh, most people really don't know about it but I'm going to be enhancing my garden with it and I mean uh, people's been doing it for uh, 2,000 years you know they've been doing it and down in South America and the Amazons and stuff so I mean uh, hey I'm all for it let's give it a go alright so we got it pretty much burned down here now this is a critical part of making this stuff uh, you see that part glowing right there, them big chunks? It'll be solid red. Alright, the next step on this thing is you have to put them out and leave them whole because that is the biochar. There's two ways of going about this if you're doing it on the ground. Uh, one way you can do it is rake it out and spray it with a water hose. As I got right here, I'm going to spray a little bit down. But another way you can do this is how I'm going to really do most of this. That's why I did it right here with my dogs digging this hole. It's because I'm going to put it in the hole and then I'm going to lay a board over it and smother it out. Because you'll want to keep that stuff whole. That's the bio char. It's actually the coal. Uh, most of y'all might have seen it camping and stuff. I mean, just no one ever really knew. But it's that simple, really. So I'm going to fill up this hole and then I'm going to spray some of them. Uh, that other pile over there down with water and we'll take a look at what this looks like close up so this is a piece of it close up just a charcoal burnt wood that ain't gonna burn no more to that point all right so we, I got that in the hole and covered it up with dirt and that should put it out and we can dig it out later when it finally goes out probably in a few hours if not tomorrow probably tomorrow I'm gonna give it time but this right here we're actually spraying with water right now and uh, we should be able to handle it in a few minutes now this can be done on a larger scale actually this ain't very much uh, I'll show you all what I collected when I'm done I'm gonna put it all in a bag and of course crush it into um, dust a powder so it can be applied easier as a top dressing but uh, it's real simple and you get a nice fire get rid of wood on your land if you have it but I'm going to finish spraying this down and I'll come back when we handle it so there we got it, we got our biochar all picked up, we got a 5 gallon bucket full um, now what you want to do is if, if you're using a tiller you can till it in big if you want but I prefer to crush it down into a powder and use it as top dressing and I'll integrate it into the first two, three inches of soil around the plant and that's really easy and simple you just crush it 